Hi, welcome back to Pivot Point. Um, this is going to be a coffee break on 10 tips for a great internship. This is internship um, season, the summertime. A lot of people are out um, having either um, a college internship or a high school internship. And I thought I would come to you with some tips. Um, before I go into the tips, um, I'd like to give you just some overall um, observations for what I think makes a great internship um, and how to um, really make the most of your time as an intern. Um, you wanna have a plan. What do you wanna get out of this internship? Um, what goals do you have um, that the internship can help you with? It's always really great, um, whether you're studying an internship or a job, to have a journal so you can write things down in and keep um, sort of a running tally of the things that you're learning, questions that you might have, um, and things like that. Um, you want to also make sure that um, in your internship, you're focusing on interpersonal relationships. Those are very important. Um, it's something that is going to help you um, either in this internship or full-time job in your career. Um, interpersonal relationships are very important for um, advancing in your career, networking and so forth. So you want to make sure that you do that. Um, and make sure that you're not afraid um, to meet with your supervisor on your internship um, weekly if possible, but if not, maybe every other week, just to get some feedback and see how you're doing. All right, so let's get into it. 10 tips for a great internship. First, learn all you can about the company. Go past the website, learn um, everything about what the company does, what products and services, um, whether it has one location, two locations, do a Google search and find out as much as you can. While you're on your internship, you also want to manage your time so that you're working effectively and productively during your day. Ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. A lot of interns are afraid to ask questions. They think that they need to know it all, but you really can't. I mean, internship is a place for you to learn. Make sure that you're accepting all assignments. Um, I know that sounds like uh, common sense, but I have known interns to say that um, there was something that they didn't want to do, like make coffee or run an errand or, or something like that. Um, accept all assignments and that leads to the fifth point with a positive attitude. Uh, no matter what you're doing, make sure that you have a positive attitude. And um, no matter how big or how small the assignment is, um, it's something that's going to help the company out. And um, having a positive attitude always helps. The sixth um, tip is to know what the expectations are of the internship. Know what it is you're supposed to be doing. Are there any outcomes that are supposed to come from the internship, um, projects that need to be completed? Know exactly um, what it is you're supposed to be doing. Um, I know sometimes intern job descriptions are pretty big, so make sure that you meet with your supervisor to find out what the expectations are. And with that, um, make sure that you're seeking feedback. Feedback is very, very important um, in your internship. So make sure that you are um, seeking feedback. Make sure you take notes in, again, that uh, intern journal that I mentioned. Um, take notes on everything. Don't rely on your memory. Um, there's a lot of things going on, a lot of moving parts in an internship and taking notes um, is always um, something that your supervisor will um, see and recognize as a really good work ethic habit. You wanna make sure that you're developing your skills as an intern. Um, an internship is wasted if you're not at least learning one new skill or learning about an industry or whatever. Um, so make sure that you try to develop the skills that you need that are gonna progress your career. And last, but certainly not least, dress appropriately for the internship. Um, take seriously the internship and your role there by dressing appropriately to the environment. If you don't know before you start the internship what the dress code is, um, you can always ask your supervisor, they will let you know um, if you're gonna be outside, if you're gonna be inside um, and dress appropriately so that you are um, really showing that you're a professional, you're showing up ready to work and ready to um, really impress them. Um, the goal with an internship, I'll, I'll leave you with these parting words, is not necessarily um, 
to get a job. It's more of a learning experience, um, but you wanna leave your supervisor and your coworkers, um, sad to see you go, that the internship is over, not relieved to see you go because they don't have to sort of babysit an intern anymore. Um, but you really have uh, contributed to the company's bottom line. You were a good team player um, and nice to have around and they're really sad to see you leave. So just a few tips to help you in your internship. Um, once again, um, first tip is to learn about the company. Second tip, manage your time. Third tip, ask questions. Fourth is to accept all assignments. With five, having a positive attitude. Six, know what expectations are expected of you on this internship. Seven, seek feedback. Eight, take notes so that you don't forget anything. Nine, develop your skills. And tip number 10, dress appropriately. I wish you the best of luck in your internship and with your career. Thanks for listening.